Hey, what's up guys? Um, so today we're going to be showing you how I made this lovely footstool for my dad. It was his birthday coming up and he wanted me to build him something that he can use when he plays guitar. I had free reign on everything that I wanted. Wood, size, dimensions, it didn't really matter. He just wanted it to look good, so this is what I've come up with. Now the project didn't quite go as planned. I had planned on making it out something different, but you'll see as you watch the video, hopefully, that I did what I could and it just didn't work, so this is what I've ended up with. But I still think it looks amazing. It's a beautiful bit of wood beautiful project at the end so um, we'll see how I got on. So I started with taking some oak and dark walnut and cutting them down to the length I needed. I then cut down some of that beautiful paduke. I needed to clean up one edge first. Once it was cut I was surprised how bendy this small chunk actually was. I then cut the paduke to roughly the width I needed and ran it through the thickener to get it cleaned up. I really need to get my dust collection sorted, as cleaning up after this thicknesser is ridiculous. I wasn't happy with the thickness of the Badoo, so I glued a couple bits together. I planed the edges and squared off the ends, ready for the next stage. Next, I cut my dark walnut and oak to size. I was meant to cut the oak slightly bigger than the walnut, but it must have slipped my mind, and annoyingly, I did the same size. First put together looked really good. I ran everything through the thicknesser just to clean up the edges. I might not have needed to, but it was a new toy and I wanted to use it. It was then time for the most important part, the glue up. This was my first proper glue up, so I had everything crossed that it was going to go well. Yeah, didn't go well. So my original plan for the footstool was to do it out of a bit of Paduke, some dark walnut and some oak. Um, didn't really go to plan as, well, that's the size I'm left up with. Um, there was some inclusions and some breaks, which I had to cut off and literally that would have been it. And that is just far too small. Um, so what I did was I did a nice chunk of oak. I cut the oak down to size. Marked where I wanted the legs to go and see how it would look. I cut the legs to get the angle I wanted and see how it felt. I think it looked good, so I marked out the position of the legs so I could cut out the slots. I didn't do the, um, the gaps very well for the actual foot, feet, so I pretty much scrapped that. I'll turn it into something else. Uh, not sure what yet, but that's, I, can't, I just can't use it. I'm not happy with it. Um, I really screwed up the gaps. It's far too wide now, so I, my feet have too much wobble in it, um, which is really frustrating because the actual wood is beautiful. I've remade my top, got the, the nice grooves there so the actual feet sit in it perfectly which it's going to look really good in the end so what I did is I took my Paduke board um, cut it up did the uh, did a few slabs um, and scales put them through the thicknesser and now I have these beautiful things here um, so I'm actually going to use these to surround the actual um, board to give it just that little bit of an accent around the outside. So I went on to do my test fit to see how it went together with the slots and I think it went well. The sun seems to approve anyway. I think I'm going to have to build him a ramp now. So second glue up. This time it's the edge trim. This one did go well. Not sure if I used enough clamps though. I added the end strips to finish the frame. I decided to hide the leg screws, so I used a 25mm force a bit just to add some small recesses. I then had to remove the lip left from adding the edge strips. This involved a lot of sanding, but I got them down flush eventually. Lots and lots and lots of sanding. I picked up some 26mm cherry to use as dowels, so I sanded them down slightly just to get a good fit. So now it's time to add in those legs. The screws are just for some added support. The glue should be enough. I then gently persuaded the dowels to go in and clamp them secure. 
I use my flush saw to cut them down without cutting my fingers. I then started sanding. I started on the top with 60 grit and continued to do the rest of the sides and legs. I then moved on to 120. I wet it down slightly just to lift the grain and then sand it to 180. Now for the fun bit, the finish. This is my first time putting a proper finish on. I used Osmo Oil Poly X as it's hard wearing. After seeking some advice, I made sure I put a thin coat on and wiped access off after. I let it to dry overnight and did a second coat in the morning. I didn't think I needed to add another. I then used my branding iron from Dragonfly Workshop to put my maker's mark on. Seeing as this was my first proper project, this was a momentous occasion for me. I added that second coat on the bottom and it's done. There you go, that's how I made it. Beautiful bit of oak, nice paduke on the outside, um, pretty much fit for purpose for whatever he wants to do with it. Um, I love the way it turned out. I would have loved to have had the full thing made out of the walnut and the and the paduke and the oak, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Can't always plan for these things. Next time I might build one out of something like that, but I'm sure I can turn that into something lovely. We'll just have to wait and see. Join me next time and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. I'll be in the comment section for the next hour or so after this video post, so uh, I'll reply back to you.